Hey guys, in this video we will be looking at the Hubfit client app. So we're going to cover everything to do with the app. We're going to start off with the dashboard which is here, then the training, habits, nutrition and your profile tab. So the first thing you'll see when you're on the dashboard which is the screen we're on is your notifications here and your messaging here. Now if I click on notifications, you'll see your notifications and you can click on them to open them up. So if I just go back and the main part of the dashboard is the tasks. Now what the tasks is, it's um, a collection of area where you have things due that day. So for example, we have some habits that are due today and we have a daily check-in that is due today. Now this is just like a shortcut area. And what I mean by that is if you do not fill this in today, you can always go back to your habits and fill it in. And again, if you forget to fill in your daily check-in, you can always go and do that from your profile tab. So I will show you first of all how you can access it from your task area. So let's say we want to fill in our um, drink water habit. I can click this icon and you'll see this pops up. So you have a couple of options here. This you can click to add a memo. So if you want to add like a certain notes for your coach to see. Here you can reset the habit back to zero if you just want to um, start again. And this is where you can add. So if I click on add. I can add something. Let's say I just drank two cups of water. I can click two and do add. You can see here it updates. Um, so we drank two. Let's say I drank um, six now. I'll add six. So now we've reached our goal of eight cups and you will see this update here. So if I just close this down. So that's how you can enter your habits and you can do that from here. Again, you can always do that from the dedicated habits tab that we will get to. Next, you'll see you can also do your check-ins from here. So if, if you have a check-in due today, you'll see it. So if I click add check-in and here you can fill in your answers. And what you'll see here is you have um, all these different types of questions. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click submit. I'm going to submit an empty check-in like so. And here you'll see we just submitted our check-in. This is completed. Um, and we're at 67%. And I can always view my check-in by clicking this, my completed check-in. If for whatever reason I want to delete it, I can delete it from here and, and redo that check-in. So that's habits and check-in from your uh, tasks. Next you'll have is your community. So if your coach adds you to a community, you'll be able to see it from here. You can click on this and here you'll see um, any posts made by community members and you can also post something so I can click on here and I can make a post. I can also like by clicking this and I can also leave a comment. And then you'll see over here you have resources. So any resources that your coach puts into your vault you'll be able to see from here. So for example you see here I have two resources, a Loom video and a YouTube video. Um, over here you'll see collections. So collections is just a collection of resources. So here for example I'm in a collection called getting started and if I click this these are the resources that are in this collection. So I just have some things to do with my check-ins and the video on habits. So if I just close this um, over here you have your notes. So here is where your coach can add notes for you. So if I just click on view all I can view all the notes that my coach has added. So that's the dashboard and um, you get your tasks, your, your resources and your notes. Um, let's now jump into the training. So this here is the training area. So if I click on this, you'll see here we have one workout. Now this workout is a full body workout and if there's a description attached you can view the description by clicking this. Um, but we'll go ahead and click on this workout. And what you'll see is you can swipe between all the different workouts. So for example, we have chest, back, arms, and legs. Just go back to the first workout. What you will see here is you have a quick summary. So for we have here six exercises, one superset and one section. We have the workout description. And if I scroll here, you can see all your exercises. So the first thing you'll notice is that you can click on an exercise to view more information on that. And over here you'll see you have a section called warm up. So this is where it starts, this is where it ends. And then you have normal exercises. Over here you can see you have a superset. And yeah, then there's another exercise. If you want to record this workout, you can click this start workout button. 
and what you'll see here is you have your exercises so for example here you have your warm-up if I swipe here I have my next exercise so you can track as you're working out and just swipe between it so what I want to show you uh, is how this works so for example here we have a our superset we have two exercises I can record by entering the values here so let's say we just done 50 kg for this and we done 10 reps and then for our next exercise in the superset we done 20 kg and we done 12 so this here is for the first exercise which is this and this is for the second exercise and if I want to add another set I can do add set and it adds it what's nice is that it pre-fills it and um, based on your last set but you can always go back and just modify it let's say we done less sets here I can modify it uh, you'll have a note icon here for each exercise what this allows you to do is add a specific comment and um, so you can tell your coach if you've struggled let's say on this specific exercise you can always add it here and you'll see this trophy icon here this allows you to see a history of everything you've recorded for this exercise so for example for and this bench press I can see that I've done it in a, on the 15th of July and I can view it on a graph as well so that's always there for you conveniently to just view as you're working out over here you have a timer so you can um, start a timer if you're if you're resting here you can pause the workout and if you just want to end the workout and not save it you can click this and um, but I'll just go ahead and cancel that what I'll do is I'll show you how you can end this workout so let's say you've completed everything you swipe through it you'll reach this final screen over here you can add a comment so if you want your coach to like um, this was a great workout you can always leave a comment for them and then finish so just like that I finished my workout here you'll see a quick summary of the workout the note that you've added and all the exercises that you've done um, so that's how you can record and view your workout over here you have history so you can always go back for example if I just click on uh, workouts you'll see this is the workout we just completed and I can click on it and view that workout so you have a full history of all your workouts you've ever done you also have a history for all your exercises so if I click on exercises you'll see here for example this is one exercise we just done and I can always view all the history for that specific exercise you can also flick through the different uh, measurements so we were recording both reps and weights so we can always flick through those two so that's training and um, you can record your workouts you can view your history and um, if there's multiple workouts you'll see them here but at the moment we only have one full body workout next up is habits so you have a habits tab here so if I just refresh the first thing you'll see here is an overview screen so you'll see all your habits we have a habit here that still hasn't started so if I try click on this it will say this habit is not available yet but then you'll see these habits and you can see the streak that you're on if I come down here I can see an overview how many habits I've completed my longest streak and here you'll get a nice graph to show you your monthly activity so anytime you complete a habit on a given day you'll just highlight it to show your activity but what you can do is you can click on a specific habit so let's click on drink water and here you'll be able to see a full overview so again this is similar to what you saw in in the dashboard so it works the same and um, but if you again if you forget to fill something on a specific day or uh, so it's not in your tasks you can always come back here and fill it in from here the first thing you'll see is you have um, this here so here you can click on more info to get more info so what days this is scheduled for the description and any other information that your coach attaches to this habit and um, you'll see here it says we've completed our daily habit a goal which is eight cups and we've completed that here you'll see a history and um, so you'll see a graph of, of your history for that habit but you, what's nice is you have this calendar icon and if I click on this I'll be able to view um, a calendar for all the days I submit a habit now if if you didn't submit a habit let's say you forgot to submit something two days ago you can always come back here and just fill it up. so let's say on the 11th I want to fill something I can click on it and proceed with filling it in so yeah if you ever forget to fill something in from a couple of days ago you can always come back here and backfill 
the data. Uh, next, you'll see here you have a nice set of metrics for this specific habit. So the first thing you'll see is how many times you've completed this habit. So this says five days. So you'll see here we've done it for five days and we've hit the target on five days. So that's what you'll see here. Next is our completion rate. So we're 100%, our current streak, our best streak, the total volume and the average. So yeah, that's for habits. Um, that's You can see your metrics, you can backfill data and you can view all your habits and overview from here. So that's in the habits tab. Next up is the nutrition tab. So over here in nutrition, if I just go ahead and click on that, you'll see your meals. So the first thing that you'll see here is that you can switch between your meals. So let's say you have more than one meal. In this case, we have rest day meal plan and a training day meal plan. You can always switch between them. Here you'll see a description for the meal, but then the main part is your macros and your meals. Now, You'll see here for each meal, we have multiple options. So we can flick through the options and your macros will update in real time based on the meal that you're on. So if you see this as I'm switching, the macros is being updated. Now I can go ahead and click on a meal. Let's say, for example, I click on this snack meal and it will pop open and I can view more information on this meal. So here you'll see any descriptions, the macros, and then the specific ingredients with all the macros breakdown. Um, so again, you can go to any meal. So let's go to option two we have for breakfast and I can click on this and view this meal. So I'll go ahead and close this. So that's for nutrition. And um, next I'll show you is your profile tab. So if I click on profile here and just refresh, you'll see here, um, you have your profile picture, so you can always change your profile picture from here. Over here, you'll see how many workouts you've done in total and how many check-ins you've done in total. Now, um, you can always do your check-ins from the tasks on the on the day that is due, um, like we covered in the dashboard. But if for some reason you forget to submit it, let's say, and it was due yesterday, you can always come back here and fill it from here. So to do that, you can just click on this and you can go ahead and fill in that check-in. If you want to view history of your check-ins, you can click on this. You can do view history and I can view my history. So if your if your coach attaches a comment to a check-in or something, you can always come here and view them. So if I go ahead and click on this, this is an empty check-in, but yeah, you can always view your history from here. Over here you'll see your metrics. So here we have our weight metrics. If I want to flick between different metrics, I can click on this. So here you'll see we have two different metrics, weight and body weight. And I can view a full history by clicking on this. So if I click on this, I can see a full breakdown for my weight, the days it was added and the values it was on that day. Now, if I want to add to this metric, I can click on this here and I can go ahead and select, let's say I want to log that I'm 90 kg and I'll do add. Um, so yeah, that's metrics. Over here you have your gallery. So here's where you can upload your progress photos. You can add your progress photos from here. And if you want to view your photos, you want to open it up, you can do, do so by clicking that button. And if you want to compare your photos, you can click on this comparison here and then hopefully it will have your photos side by side and you can flick through them to view your progress over time. So this is automatically done for you it makes tracking your progress a lot easier. And the final thing is settings. So you have your settings here. I can go ahead and click on settings. So here you can change your name, you can change your language, and um, we support multiple different languages. So you can pick any language and the entire app will change to that language. And then here you can do your integrations. So if you wanna integrate with Chronometer, you can just click on this, click connect, and it will open up the Chronometer app for you where you can just hit approve a similar idea with Fitbit and Apple health. So yeah, your integrations are done straight from here. Just click whatever integration and click connect. So that's everything you need to know to get started with the client app. Feel free to ask any questions if you have any and yeah, best of luck with your fitness journey.